Made for more. Made for more. Made for more. Made for more. My name is Maur Breed and I'm from West Cork. I'm a novice with the Redim Christine. My name is Sister Monica Morgan. I'm from County Mead and I am Sami Professed in the Redim Christines here in Dublin. My name is Brother Drew Cayley and I'm from Drada in County Louth and I am a Franciscan friar with the OFMs. My name is Helen O'Sullivan and I'm a sister of Our Lady of the Missions. My name is Father Willie Purcell and I am the National Coordinator for Diocesan Vocations in Ireland. I'm a Diocesan Priest of the Diocese of Ossery, which is in Kilkenny. A vocation is, is a calling. Um, it's a special calling to a particular way of, of being. I mean, there's vocation to religious life, but there's also the vocation to married life and to a single life. When I was a young lad, I went to school in Gormiston County Mead, which is the only college or secondary school rather in Ireland that was run by the Friars. So I practically lived five days a week really with them. So I was kind of a fire before I even <laughs> received my habits. You just see them so often and you see the things that they're doing with young people and the things that they do in the church. When I was discerning my vocation, I saw what they were doing in terms of teaching me and teaching others and just being a presence for people. It made me really want to be a part of that. It wasn't some strange voice that uh, came to me or it wasn't a tap on the shoulder from an angel. It was just almost like a stirring within my own heart that said to me, look, uh, God wants you to be a priest. And wherever God wants you to be a priest, God will be with you. For me, I was drawn to the life of prayer. I knew God was calling me. The first time I came to visit here, I really felt at home. But it actually took me two years before I made that real commitment and said yes to God and yes to the community. I thought you had to be really holy and I didn't think I was really holy enough. It, it stayed with me. It stayed with me my whole life. I kept feeling as if God was like, you know, Helen, I'm still after you as a sister. We're just ordinary and, you know, I, I wear ordinary clothes. I do ordinary things, but I have a focus and the focus is is on, on my prayer life, on, on Jesus. I chose the way of the diocesan priest because, first of all, through the influence of priests I had known. Uh, in them I saw that they had discovered something that was worth living. And of course they had discovered and encountered Christ. You know, in the hustle and bustle of life, they can forget that God is even there. For me, I feel religious life is so important for our world today, just to be that witness. I suppose the contemplative life that you're bringing everyone into your prayer. I think religious life is important today because it opens up a dimension to the Catholic Church that I don't think many people uh, are traditionally exposed to. It shows that there's quite a variety within the church and it's not just uh, the mass. It goes beyond, it goes into the community, it goes worldwide. There's so much more to it than what meets the eye. There's just a great diversity that's, that makes the church so useful, I think. This is a great time to be a Catholic, simply because never before perhaps in the history of our country do we need men and women, especially young men and women, who will stand up for the truth, who will stand up for what they believe. So to be a diocesan priest or to be religious today is to really say, yes, I am for Christ. I have been called by God. And having been called by God, then God has a mission for me. Turn to God for help, even when it's difficult and you don't believe he's there in that moment. Turn to him and he will help you through anything. If you feel a sense within your own heart and within your own life, that you are being called to diocesan priesthood or religious life, then go and ask the questions. Be your best self. Follow the truth. Trust in him. Keep searching for what you know is right and is good. The Lord will help you find it. Made for more. Made for more. It's not set you, but I say lo maximo. Made for more. 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 Made for more.